Now we are going to talk about a calculated field function that will allow us to look up in a different business object. Let's go back in time and quickly remind ourselves about the dependent and the worker, that example that we did when we were talking about reports. When we created the related business object, we looked at the business object. We went to the related business object. We saw that there was a linkage. There are certain fields that act as a linkage between a primary business object and a related business object. What is the linkage between worker and dependent? Is it a multi-instance? Is it a single instance? What kind of relationship is there between a worker and a dependent? What kind of relationship do we have? Multi-instance Worker to dependent is one to many, isn't it? One to many, or multi instance, because one worker may have multiple dependents. Let's say, I want sorry before I go there. What was the problem with the related business objects that we saw? Could we filter on the related business objects? The fields from the related business object like dependent, could we add them in the filter of a report? What did we do? We had to do it in the subfilter. We had to do it in the subfilter. We had to do it in the subfilter. Now there were certain issues and challenges with the one in the subfilter. What if we do not want something? What if we completely want to eliminate that record? It becomes difficult if it is only in the subfilter. It is always better if we have some way of bringing that information from the related business object onto the primary business object. Because if you bring it in the primary business object straight away, instead of a subfilter, you can use a filter. Then in the filter, you can actually filter your output based on that, which is a wonderful thing to have. Also, you would be able to take some related actions, etc. Directly from that output itself, from the main report output itself. It is very useful in reporting purposes. Also sometimes what happens? You have to do some calculation for your integrations, for your EIBs, for your code connectors, where you have to get the information from the related business object and put it in the main or primary business object. Here. What we are trying to do is we are going to find out what is the age of the eldest dependent. Age of the eldest dependent of a worker. We are going to do that. When we did the related business object filters and subfilters, what did we do? We selected only the dependents who were, more than I think, 10 years old. That's what we did. But now we are going to look for the eldest dependent. How would you do that if you were doing it using a filter or subfilter? Would you be able to do that in any way? Difficult, right? It's difficult. Now, how would we do it using a calculated field? Let's break it down first. Age of the eldest dependent of a worker. There are two things to it. 
One is eldest dependent of a worker. And then age of the eldest dependent. Isn't it? First, we have to find out who is the eldest dependent. Then we find out what is the age of that eldest dependent. We break it down into smaller pieces. Now eldest dependent. One worker may have many dependents. Now, when you have multiple dependents, how do you find the eldest dependent? Based on what? Based on the age. Based on the age of the dependent. If I say how to find the eldest dependent. First of all, we will find it on the basis of the age of the dependent. Correct. And then if I'm going to find the eldest, then what can I do? Can I sort it in some manner and then take one? Let's say you have the age like 10, 15, and 42. Correct. This is how you have it. Let's make it the other way around. 15, 10, and 42. So how would you find the eldest one? This is your sample population. Try it. Highest one. Highest one to lowest one. So sort. Yeah. Descending. Right, sort descending. If that is what you are going to do, then it will be sorted like 42, 15, 10. Right. This is with me. This will be the sorting. And then what would you do? Take the first one. Take the first one. So sort descending. Take the first one. That is equivalent to the eldest. Right. This is the eldest. If somebody has only one dependent age 35, will our logic work in that case as well? We sort descending. So it will be 35. Take the first one. 35. Right, so our logic works. If there are multiple, even more. What if we have 42 twice? Yes, very interesting. That is difficult. That is seriously difficult. Or maybe, yeah, let's remove the 63. Yeah, then we have to return both their names, right, because we are looking at the eldest one. Okay. So we have to return both. But then we have to find out, is there any other way of matching or maybe of having a tie break? If there's a tie, then how to break the tie? Then we have to think of some other logic, of course. Like, is it based on the name or maybe the relationship? Is it like, let's say, if it is the same age, you are only looking for a spouse, not the child, maybe? Spouse and child most likely are not going to be the same age. Right. But yeah, if there are multiple dependents, maybe you give a higher priority to the spouse. 
so in that case you have to think of another factor to act as a tiebreaker. Okay. But in this case, let's say, even if you have more numbers like 42, 43, 75, 82, and so on. If one worker has so many dependents, which these are their ages, can you, I mean, will our logic, logic that we have defined is absolutely bulletproof. Right. Only one option. One problem is there if there are multiple dependents with the same age. Right if there's only children as dependents and there is a twin right the same age. So yeah, at that point it becomes difficult, but other than that it is more or less foolproof. So first thing that we are going to do is find out the eldest dependent. So we will sort the dependents based on the age. Right. And then we will see what is the criteria on basis of which we are choosing. But first thing is you realize that we are going to store the new calculated field in which business object, worker or dependent. But does the worker business object have the information about the dependent's age? The answer is no. That is why we are going to use a combination of calculated fields that is called extract single instance. Right. And look up related value. This is the most common calculated field function that people will ask you in your interviews. ESILRV. Extract single instance is called ESILRV. Stats, I mean lookup related value, is LRV. They work in combination. They typically. We do not only leave with ESI. Once we extract the ESI, we use it to get some value. That's the LRV. Like here, we are going to get the age of the eldest dependent. Eldest dependent will be returned by the ESI. Right, and the age of that eldest dependent will be an LRV. Right. This will be a very, very common question. So, Lisi, it will allow you to extract the instance of an object from a related business object based on some criteria. That is what ESI is all about. Right. And once you extract the single instance, one particular occurrence of that particular object, then you look up another value related to that using an LRV, 